Hey everybody, it's Sharon here and today I'm going to show you how I made a raised cedar uh, deck garden for a fraction of the cost of buying one. I mean, it is no secret that lumber prices are ridiculous right now. So I use the cedar dog ear fence pickets. Now they're pretty rough and they're not really meant for fine furniture, which I mean, this is really not a fine furniture. It's an outdoor. So I had some leftovers and I ended up buying a few extras um, just to get the project done. Trimmed them all to size. I honestly, I had no plans. So I made it just whatever size it ended up being. I did sand off a little bit of the roughness and started with the base first. So on the bottom, I used some other boards that I had left over from making a birdhouse. So those were a little bit wider. To put it together, I used a combination of screws, wood glue, and some nails. Now on the bottom, I wanted to reinforce because I wasn't really sure how I was going to do this yet. So I put two uh, across and then on the corners for the legs, and this was just a demonstration piece here. What I do is I'll take a, usually like a cedar log or a post, put it through a block and then attach the block to the bottom surface of whether it's a coffee table or in, in this case, um, this deck garden. And then I screwed in multiple areas um, around the block. I like that look better than um, some of the other looks. So I used all treated screws. Uh, honestly, couldn't even tell you how many. I had a couple boxes that were half empty. So um, I used different sizes depending on what I was working on. I made the two long sides first. They ended up being 19 inches high. And I picked out the ones that would have the really pretty grain on the outside. And then I just repeated the process for the two sides. So I didn't want to use a cedar post for the legs. So we have plenty of dead standing cedars and I had these out in the woods. So I looked for a couple, I think they were four inches across, maybe five inches. Um, you know, it's hard to find them where they they don't taper real fast. So I just brought them in. I hand scraped them and then just trimmed them um, to the size. And you can see they're beautiful uh, red heartwood in there. So once I had all the legs um, cut, I had to make sure things were going to be level. I marked those square um, areas and then put in those screws. I ended up putting like, I don't remember, four or five and they were like three inch screws in the bottom of the cedar post and then um, screwed them into the bottom of the base. I wanted to be able to move the garden on the deck if I needed to move it like if a storm was coming. So I put these casters on the bottom to help move it. So once I got the sides done and the legs on, I just put an extra board on the bottom to kind of finish it off and to hide the um, bottom edges. I know this is probably an extra step that I didn't need to, but I sealed the bottom of the um, container and also put some drain holes in. I had the great idea of putting tubing in there for drainage and yeah that kind of disappeared. So I didn't want to fill the entire thing full of dirt so I ended up making just some shelves out of actually some scraps I put together to make it a v-shape which would then help with drainage. I also coated the bottom board of each of those because those were probably going to be the wettest um, for the longest amount of time. Just to finish it off up on top and uh, get rid of those rough edges there, I put some corner blocks on and just glued and uh, nailed those. I ended up putting just a finish um, that I used on the deck. So this was just some leftover stain and it seemed to work out really good for the front entrance 
um, for the gate and also the front of the house. Altogether, it ended up being about 40 inches and I'm tall, so I wanted it a little bit higher so I'm not bending over so much. And that stain really brought out the um, color and some of the characteristics. Now I wanted to grow some tomatoes and cucumbers, things that are going to climb. And so I looked at, you know, like the local stores and gosh, I, they just look so boring, those lattices. So I went for an inspiration walk out in the woods and I found this old cedar tree that is still alive, but all the bottom branches are, are dead. And I tried to imagine what it would look like with some uh, tomatoes wrapped around it. So I did cut a few off. Um, they look dead, but gosh, when you cut into them, they have all the heartwood. So I literally just uh, screwed a bunch in the back, trying to make it um, shaped. So kind of like a, a trellis fan. I sealed them and started working on the rest of the, um, the bed. For the soil, I did get the organic raised bed planting mix and I got some uh, extra manure and some also uh, the earthworm castings. I had some leftover coconut fiber liners for planters. So after I put plastic in, I put that in and then I just started um, filling it in with dirt. So I had my plants. Um, my goal was to have a bunch of herbs that I could pick through in the summer and um, make some food with that, which I'll show you at the end. So make sure you stay for that. I also had, uh, like I said, I wanted a couple climbing things. So I had cucumbers. Um, I also had a tomato and I did put a zucchini in there. I wasn't sure how that was going to go. So I laid out all of my herbs and kind of lined them up where I thought they would work. And I got marigolds too, because they're like a natural bug repellent. So I really wanted to avoid any pesticides if I could. Now I almost forgot the little worker bees. Um, I put in a bunch of worms and uh, let them do their work all year long. I didn't have any mulch with me, so I had some extra cedar shavings that I used for the duck house. So I just spread them in there. I just added a couple hooks for some tools. And it was pretty much done. So this was back in May when I started, so all I needed was some time and water. And two months later, things are starting to bloom. So what are we waiting for? Let's eat. Let me show you a couple things I made with uh, some of the fresh herbs and the vegetables. And thanks for watching.